So this is the image I'm going to use. So now I am on Pixel Studio. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the background from our layer. So now left click here. Let's select the selection brush tool. And now I'm just going to paint over the areas I want to keep to create selection. So I'm going to paint the women. So here it is. And now I'm just going to click on refine to refine the edges. Make sure to check the mate. The output is selection. And now I'm just going to paint over these areas here of the hair. So I think I'm going to leave it here. Now just click on apply. And now just add the mask here, click on the mask layer. This will keep our selection and remove everything that's outside the selection. So here it is. And I go to pixel selection and then deselect. And now right click on the layer. Make sure to select the layer, right click on it, merge visible. And now I'm just going to delete the layer here with the mask. And now I'm going to add a new fill layer. So go to pixel and then select new fill layer. Now I'm going to change it. For example, I will give it a kind of pinkish color like this, this one here. Place it under the women layer. Now select the women layer. And now I'm going to bring my paint drip image. So as you can see, the image is quite big. So now let's select the move tool. And then I'm going to scale it down from these handles here. So here it is. So now the first thing we need to do is to remove the white background from our layer. So first of all, right click on the layer, select the layer, the paint drip layer, right click with the move tool and now click on rasterize and now left click here and then select the float select. The mode is new. The source is current layer, tolerance 20%. I check the contiguous and anti-aliasing and now I'm going to left click on the white area and then just press delete key on your keyboard to remove the selection here, the white area selected. And now let's remove the selection, go to pixel, selection, and then deselect. And now let's select the move tool again. I'm going to reduce the opacity here of the paint drip layer. I'm going to reduce it a little bit so we can see the layer under it. And now we just need to adjust the layer. So we can still, for example, scale it down. So I'm going to scale it down again. I'm going to bring it up. So I think here I'm okay. So let's bring back the opacity all the way up. So if I select the navigator here and then increase, drag the cursor here, this one here to the right, it will zoom in. So as you can see, the dripping here, the painting here is covering, is on the women layer. So now that's what we want. So now we need to make selection here from the paint drip layer. So hold the control key down and then left click on the paint drip layer, left click on the image here of the paint drip layer, not the text, this one here. Hold the control key down and then left click. So here it is. Now we don't need the paint drip layer anymore. So I'm just going to delete it. Now select the women layer. And now I'm just going to add a mask to the women layer. This will keep what's inside the selection here of the women layer and remove everything that's outside. This will create the drooping paint effect. So click on this icon. So now we just need to reveal the part of the women here layer missing. So now the first thing we need to do is to remove the selection. Go to pixel, pixel selection, and then deselect. And now on the mask layer, the black represents transparency and the white opacity. So in order to reveal this area, we just need to paint with white over it. So make sure to select the mask layer, not the layer, the mask layer. Select the paintbrush tool, left click, select paintbrush tool. So I'm going to left click here, change it to the wheel now make sure to select the foreground color as white to reveal the part so here are the settings i'm using and now i'm just going to paint here with the white color on the mask so here it is so for example if you paint with the black color let's change it to black it will hide so here it is and now control z to undo and now let's select the women layer left click here on the left select the move tool i'm going to increase this size here so here it is, let's place it here like this. And now let's add some styling to the layer. Make sure to still select the women layer, not the mask. Select the women layer. Left click on the FX. I'm going to move the layer effects window to the right. Now I'm going to add an outer shadow. Select the outer shadow and then left click to check it. 
and then the color is black the direction angle is 315 and now I'm just going to increase the radius and then increase the offset so as you can see gives a kind of drop shadow so I think I'm going to leave it here so here it is so now I'm just going to select the zoom tool left click select the zoom tool right click to fit 